Sci-Fi Horror Show. My name is Andy. This is my little 10-minute window to the rest of the world. And right now, today is Friday the 13th. Again, I'm right outside the TV station. And coincidentally and ironically, and I didn't even plan this, this is kind of funny. I actually have to go do one of the things, once again, I hate to do, even not on Friday the 13th. I gotta go and price some electronics. So I'm off to the electronics store right now. And uh, of course it's Friday the 13th, so statistically, traffic is crazier, more accidents happen, more horrible things happen on the news. So people go crazy. It's not a full moon, so we're good there. But I right now have to further delve myself into the world of technology. In this city, under cover of darkness, Someone is stalking Sarah Connor. Sarah Connor? Yes. Sarah Connor, 35, brutally shot to death in her home. You're dead, honey. What's this? Dead girl, too. Sarah Louise Connor. Is this right? Of course, we'll have more on this late-breaking story as it comes in. She doesn't know why, but it's her he's after. Did you reach the next girl yet? No, I didn't get an answer. Pick up if you're there. I'm really scared. I think that there's somebody after me. And no one can help her, except for one man. I'm Reese. It's a sign to protect you. You've been targeted for termination. <laughs> It's not a man. A machine. Terminator. Underneath, it's a hyper-alloy combat chassis. Microprocessor controlled. Fully armored. Very tough. But outside, it's living human tissue. They cannot make things like that yet. Not yet. Not for about 40 years. Are you saying it's from the future? They came to fight. For the one woman who could save their future. And this uh, computer thinks it can win by uh, killing the mother of its enemy. One came to protect her. I came across time for you, Sarah. The other to kill her. Arnold Schwarzenegger is... The Terminator. Inhuman. Relentless. Unstoppable. He has only one purpose. Murder. Can you stop it? I don't know. And now Sarah Connor's world has become a battlefield. With her at ground zero. And the Terminator closing in. An adventure unlike anything you've ever seen before. Arnold Schwarzenegger is the Terminator. It's kind of cool because basically all you have to do is pick up a couple of the SD cards, which is not a big deal. But I am going to go pricing Blu-ray player that will play a certain type of video file so that I can have my videos on a card. And I can just stick it in there and say, hey, look, just keep it in there. <sighs> Instead of dealing with discs and all this downloading crap. Things are, just to put it in perspective of where we are in reality right now, um, we are still waiting on our film festival. We got a nomination for Best Special Effects. Yes. And um, the nomination alone is excellent. It's already win my eyes. And we are in pre-production of the next one, which we'll be shooting throughout January, February. It's November. I gotta finish the script this weekend. Well, first draft of the script this weekend. And uh, yeah, that's where we're at mentally. So I know what that means. You don't know what it means, but like that's just how we roll here. This is my TV show. And now I'm on my way to the electronics store. Yeah, can you see I'm stalling? I had the world by the balls. I had more money than I knew what to do with. 
a respected lawyer, in demand. And my wife was beautiful, from a wealthy family. And then... There he is, boy! I have a bunch of crazed lunatics who are trying to kill me. What did you call me? A dumb red cat. I need your help. I ran into a little trouble back there. <laughs> you need to get out of here. I need to borrow your phone! Hey, hey, hey! Private party! Anybody home? Life or death situation. I need your keys. I'm so sorry, I, I didn't mean to. No, 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 no. Put that down. Ow! 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 That hurt! I don't think it's a good idea for you to go out there right now. I just need to use your car. Drop the car keys. Dropping. We have a warrant for your arrest. For what? I have the right to speak to a lawyer! You're a lawyer, aren't you? Yeah. I guess you'll have to talk to yourself then. <laughs> they do things a little differently around here. I can forgive. Oh my god, okay. But I cannot let you go unpunished. What do you mean, punished? Hey man, don't take it personally. Citizens of Preachville, perform your duty! Alright, I'm outside the store, electronics store. Again, the best thing I've ever bought at the store was this camera that I'm filming on right now. Knock on wood, it's still working, I, I love it. So we're gonna go in and price some technology. I hate buying technology. Alright. Well, I wasn't able to find a Blu-ray player that has an SD card input like I wanted. They all have UBS ports, which is kind of pointless if you think about it because I got a computer for that. I don't need a Blu-ray player for that. It just doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. I have to admit right off the bat here, this has been a very uneventful Friday the 13th. And I just, actually it's been downright pleasant. So I'm kind of waiting for the big ball. It's like the sword of Damocles is hanging over my head, and I don't know where it's going to drop. But I'm on my way to work right now, so maybe it'll drop there. Hopefully not. And then I uh, will get back to you once I get out of work. The Bride. You have to pick up the cake. Don't we have somebody to do that? Yeah, you. The Groom. I bet you didn't forget the bachelor party checks. The Best Man. It's five guys, 900 bucks. The stripper's here. Excellent. This is Tina. The Problem. I slip. I think she's dead. There are always options. You left a dead prostitute in the desert? It's a 105 pound problem. You can't do this. We've already done this. And that worked. It has worked. It is working. What have we done? What have we done? What did you do? Have you done this before? Am I just turn your little pathetic ass in? I am not canceling this way. I don't want you to. I want to know what happened in Vegas. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nothing happened in Vegas. Some very good people. He's gonna take out my minivan! Oh my god! Doing some very bad things. We were very, very bad. Here comes the Wahoo. While you're at it, you know, just get rid of that dog. You want me to kill the dog? Christian Slater. This is a situation that defies judgment. Cameron Diaz. This is my day! Very bad things. Today is November, Friday the 13th, and I have arrived at work a little early, so I'm going to take some time to continue working on the script. I'm, I'm determined to get a uh, first draft a copy of the script to Allison tomorrow. Tomorrow being Saturday the 14th by 4 o'clock. That's my goal. <sighs> well, work was okay. Strangely quiet. Maybe that's the result of Friday the 13th. Now I'm home alone with the wife. Our daughter is sleeping over a friend's house. So maybe this is where the fear comes into play. Dinner's not ready. My name's Andy. Lisa. Happy Friday the 13th.